equal to come to the wall and stop. And once we've got that, we'll just click and drag this pipe close to the unit. to reduce the amount of space we take up around the house. So, so just click this part. Oh, the vertical one, yep. And move it. Okay. Move it around. Are we are happy with it. Now we want to draw up onto the side of the house. Actually, we want to go inside the wall. Yeah. It means if this is a solid concrete wall, we would probably just run the pipe on the outside of the house. Yeah. If it's a wall like this, where you've got studs and plasterboard, obviously you've got insulation in there. So you've got a gap of 75 mil or 90 mil or whatever size stud to use where you can run your pipe work up inside the wall cavity cavity. So there for my pipe the offset is 413 above ground. Mm -hmm. To bring this point into the house, into that wall. And then right click on that point and go draw pipe. Now don't click anywhere after you've done that. <coughs> so we want to rise straight up into the wall, mm -hmm. into the ceiling space. To do that, we can go to our offset. Uh, on a ceiling, 2700 was a ceiling. Mm. So let's go to 2800 to get us just above the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So that number, change that to 2800. Is the offset off the ground, is it, or is it an offset from where we started the pipe? So that offset is from the host, which is the ground. Ground, right. Yeah. So 2800 off the right. ground floor. Right. <coughs> And once you've got 2800 there, just click apply. And sometimes you have to click twice, click apply again. And then you can see your pipe rising up. Oh, so that circle is how you know that it's applied, is it? Yeah. So that's how we show something rising up. One more time. Okay. One more time. It's not working. <laughs> Am I meant to click on that? Yes, you've got a 3D view. Yeah. Yeah. Just click on the right side. And that will show you face on. And make sure your visual style is set to wireframe. That's a bit hard to see the engineer. So I might go to the section of view. You can see it. Yeah. So if we, oh no, is it? Click on the right click. Let's go here for a minute. Try getting in. Yeah. Right here. Click, draw pipe. Oh. It's just 2800 automatically. So if I, one does the same. So if I go apply a couple of times, and I go to 3D. I oh, no, mine went up. Yeah, went up. Yeah, mine went up. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Well, some people go down so I don't fix it, but apparently, what you can do if uh, it's a problem, you can yeah. click the band, delete, click on here, change the number to the desired number up here. Now, for example, change that to whatever number and then you can do this on here to put the bend back 
there's a way of changing it manually if you went yeah, the wrong way or, yeah, okay. or whatever. Yeah. So there you go. It's all there. Start drawing your pathway from here. I'll just keep drawing from my outdoor unit. So in your section <coughs> view, section view. So I go to that pipe riser, right click on the top connection, and go and select draw pipe. Okay. Front section. So. And just run your pipe to about the mid point of the house where you can see the roof pitch. Let me find the section view. So in your section view, does it matter the green that plumbing section view? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, so if we yeah, we did the out so that means we're going from out to in. So that's what to look. Another way to see what your pipe is doing if everything's been set up correctly, this should say supply. So that would be supplying cold refrigerant to the indoor unit. So once you've got your pipe close to the indoor unit, it's easier to click on the indoor unit and draw from, from that to your other pipe. So click on the unit and just click on this symbol with the eight pipe and just draw up to there. Mm. Just ignore that again. Okay. These two units were matched uh, in real life. These connections will probably have uh, reduced like this. Uh, but on our plan drawing, normally we don't want to see that, so we'll represent that by just having a straight line into the unit. But to do that, we have to open this family and change some properties in there. So we'll leave it like that for now. One's a pipe. Yours is a pipe. Is a pipe. Then it's one line. Okay. One's giving me a message, something about Revit could not find a matching pipe segment. Mm. Is that what you got? Yes. Right. So what do you do? Just close it? Oh. Yep. So you changed some numbers before, so you went on that pipe from the indoor unit and changed it to 15, was it? Right. Yep, 15. So are we all at that step? Mm -hmm. that that so we want to do the same. I'm sorry, um, you can, can you just go back one step? Please. Uh, when you're there? Once you're there, yeah. that's the spring for that's why we're getting a bit confused. Once you're there, you want to change this part to match the diameter of okay, the other one. one. Yeah. So both are 15, make sure this one's the same. And then you can either just extend this point up to the other part. and it'll connect them in. I'll just ignore that message again. So is he going? I'm trying to... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> good. He's trying to match him up. Yeah, he's going to fill it, come on. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. but no, it's got to go up the other way. It came oh, down again. click on it. Oh, yeah, click on it. Change this number here to... Ah. Yeah, how do I think it? <coughs> Yeah, well, we're getting 
So and then you can do viewing, that. you can do that guy there. Yeah, I can. Oh yeah, it did need a light up there, didn't it? Very good, yeah. Mm. Getting there. No, I've just got one. No, this one here, it's a story here, eh? I've got a wobbly part. Yeah, just look at it from the front for a minute. Uh, just, um, where's your little... Ah, oh, it's underneath this thing here. Yeah. So let me just put it on the bed for you. Look at it from the right. Come back now. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Just click on that, then. Yeah. 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 No, the other one is what this one's doing. Okay. Just see no, the information, okay. So yeah. Yeah. click on there, no. What is this? We can't do it. <coughs> uh, no, yeah, we straighten that. Or maybe we can see it's going to come in. So, oh, click on that bottom bit. Um, just there's no connection to yeah. Let's change that to not. Let's change that to course. Click on there. Yeah. Oh, you know, no, you can feel it come out, that's why. Sorry. Okay, let's get there. Yeah. Bring him across. Well, you can do that. Oh, right? that goes across at the same angle. So, no, no, you wish. Ooh, yeah, escape. See, we lost the boss. Yeah. Mm. Just undo that, control Z. Uh, <coughs> or undo. <coughs> and then change it to nice looking again. Fine. Fine, okay. Alright, let's mm. see. That's a good way of doing it. Yeah. I'm sure he's done it before. No, we just can't do the same button. I'm not quite sure how, why it got cooked. Yeah, I saw it when you did it. Um, oh, okay. um, we, dragged, you know? we dragged it from the top view. You so see, you picked up one of those. Oh, okay. Dragged it across. Yeah. But the bottom one stayed because they're on top of each other. Gotcha. Mm. Mm. There's probably a way of doing it like you can put um, modern lines. Um, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, you want to get forward in the 3D view, so you have to go to section view, I'm saying. Do you have a section view? No, you have a section view, yeah, because I didn't have one. I had to put one in, but I didn't use it in the end. So there's no sections in here. Put a section in for you. Section from here. There. Yeah, let me close. Okay. Mm -hmm. And right click on here. Go to that section. So this one is right. Yeah. So we want to bring this one across to that. Yeah, does it doesn't. Um, I don't know if it's <laughs> doesn't want to pivot, does it? <laughs> no. Did you change the offset to um, the 2800 or something? Yeah. Hey, boss. <coughs> We've got this happening. We dragged from the top view. We dragged the top point across, but not the bottom one. So the bottom one is in the bricks. Yeah. How do you know when you fix that? I would delete that. <coughs> oh, the bottom. this one. Yeah. Yep. And just. On that one, yeah. And just drag that point across. Oh, across where? To the left. Over here. And you'll see that line up. Oh, oh yeah. that's like. Oh, oh. you got to get rid of the elbow no, first. Yeah, oh, okay, that's right. We can go because we. Now we can fill it up. Yeah, yeah, we can fill it up. Yeah, there you can fill it up. Oh, that was simple. Yeah, so the elbow was the problem. Yeah. It's easy just to get rid of the elbow things. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because those things are just constrained. Yeah, okay. Sort of lock it in. Yeah. yeah okay. you know. mm. And so I think it's always easy when you know how, but yeah. it's always easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Yeah. I've, I've got a, I, I did that initially, but didn't get rid of the elbow. So it didn't stay there, it carried on. Yeah. So yes, the elbow is a, is a trick. Good. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful.
let's connect up the other five words. I'll just run through this quickly and then we move on to drainage, which is the same. So you select the line and